Welcome back everyone. Recently I did a video talking about how the UAE visas for people forming companies had gotten a little bit worse. <laughs> Not too much, but they'd reduced the length from three years to two years. However, it's just one of the visa options out there and one of the visa types which have been improved dramatically over the last year or so is the UAE Golden Visa and it's been very popular. So today I'm going to discuss the UAE Golden Visa. What is it and is it for you? Let's dive in. Before we do, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell. Thank you for your support. Welcome. I'm Michael from Offshore Citizen. And if you are interested at all with relocating to other countries, with getting plan Bs, with getting residencies, citizenships, optimizing your global tax, please reach out to us. We help people every day, every week, every month, every year, setting up companies in other places, getting residency permits. We help people to move to UAE uh, multiple times every month. And so happy to help you. If you're interested in that, you can please book a call with me, calendvcom forward slash Michael dash Rosmer. There's a link in the description below, or you can send a message through offshorecitizen.net. Okay. Well, let's just start with the background of what is the Golden Visa. So the Golden Visa was introduced, I want to say it was maybe around 2020-ish, uh, sometime around then. And the idea when they brought it in was that it was going to be a longer term visa. The concern that has happened for UAE for quite a long time is that people would come for a short period of time thinking, okay, I'm here to work to make some money and then I'm going back to my home country. And they wanted to encourage people to stay, to develop roots, to become part of the community, to think of it as a long-term place. And people said, well, you know, when my visa can be canceled in any three-year period, what am I gonna do? So the golden visa was created initially as a 10-year visa that was supposed to be sort of infinitely renewable. And at the time they introduced it, the criteria were fairly high. It was basically for people who were doing real estate investment, uh, so purchasing a property over 10 million dirhams, uh, which is approximately, you know, two and a half, three million dollars, somewhere in that range. And that was great. You know, it had some success. However, because they've been wanting to attract all kinds of other people, they have made it increasingly attractive. And so there are a few different criteria that you can use to qualify for this visa. Now, notably, there's some additional benefits compared to just a 10 year length of the visa, as opposed to, you know, a normal two or three year length. The first is you are not required to visit the country every six months as you are on most other visas. So this is often a concern for people if they have to travel from somewhere they don't necessarily want to get set up. To me, this makes it kind of a no-brainer for people who want to buy property in UAE. You can buy the property, you can have a 10-year visa, you don't have to visit every six months, and you can just have it as some sort of a backup plan. Very attractive. I'm going to talk about more in a second. So that's something that's pretty cool. In addition to this, you have the ability to sponsor uh, unlimited family members and unlimited domestic helpers, which if you want to be able to bring people into the country and you know, have them come with you or support you, etc., uh, live at your home, then that is quite useful as well. So anyway, all around a great visa. In general, the visa process is quite simple in UAE. It's very streamlined, very straightforward. Once you kind of know the nuances, you can navigate it pretty quickly. And so as I said, we help people with that all the time. So what are the areas that uh, you might be able to qualify? So the first is as some sort of an investor. And there's essentially two investments you can make. One people know quite a bit about is the real estate investment. Now it's worth noting that they've lowered the threshold from 10 million dirhams down to 2 million. So approximately 550,000 US dollars, which if you're buying a property for $550,000 is really nothing, right? It's not an expensive property. You can have a mortgage on the property, but the amount that you put in yourself has to be equal to 550. So for example, if the property is 5 million dirhams, you have to put in 2 million and you can mortgage the other 3 million. Okay, so that's the first. The second thing that you can do is you can go and you can put a fixed bank deposit locked into a UAE bank for a minimum of two years. So that's something that not a lot of people know about, but some people maybe are more comfortable with. I've had a couple of clients where that's been their interest and certainly is a pretty straightforward way to go. A bunch of the banks are willing to help facilitate that process. And so if you wanna, you know, you have some cash sitting around, you'd like to just put a deposit somewhere and you figure, hey, great, if I get a residency permit out of it, all the better, perfect, you're in. The third thing you can do is you can invest money into uh, a business. Now, 
this is a little bit more complicated and I'm not going to go through all the specific nuances of all the different variations. There's like dozens of different people who can qualify to get in under the golden visa. But uh, bottom line is you would invest the money into the company. You would demonstrate that the money was invested into the company. And on that basis, you could potentially get a golden visa. A little bit more complicated than the other two, but not bad. Beyond this, you have people who are doing sort of like an innovative startup. And that's something that could qualify you. Again, a little bit more complicated to qualify for that in terms of kind of meeting the standards that people would say, okay, yes, this is indeed a, uh, an innovative startup. You need to kind of have some credibility markers, a few different uh, participants in the government and different departments uh, or groups around UAE who are essentially going to vouch for you, being a part of an accelerator, things like this. So yeah, that's a little bit more complicated, not so common, but is an option. The next thing that you can have are for uh, skilled artistic people or people who are you know, athletes, artists, somebody who has some creative background. Again, most people are not gonna qualify for this just on the basis of the background, but for specific people, it's great, right? Makes a really straightforward way to go about it. The one that is more common, and I have seen a bunch of clients who have done it, is people who are interested in it from the perspective of being some sort of a skilled professional in particular doctors and scientists. Now there's you know, a list of different professions who qualify, but doctors are the one I'm most familiar with. And so if you can be recognized as a doctor, then that's definitely one way to go. As I mentioned, other scientists can also do so, which is really great. And there's various different types of engineering, et cetera. So any of these groups, either on the basis of your background or on the basis of your investment can qualify. So the question then becomes, you know, is that the best way to go for you? Now, the thing that I often say about this is you can always flip into a golden visa. Now, for some people, you know, maybe they're coming in and they have some sort of an educational background or work background like a doctor and they're going to be coming to UAE to work at a local hospital. And in that case, perfect, you know, just go ahead with it. But if you're coming in and you're thinking, well, maybe I would buy some real estate. Usually what I recommend is you probably don't know all the areas in the country uh, and more likely to buy where you're more likely to live. So it's usually better to start by setting up a company, getting a visa for a couple of years, allowing you to explore and figure out, you know, do you want to be on the Palm? Do you want to be in Emirates Hills? Do you want to be in Albarari? Do you want to be in downtown or Business Bay or Marina or JBR? Like, you know, there's all these different areas. You are making a property purchase, which is conceivably a pretty long-term purchase. So you would want to have that be a place that you were gonna keep uh, longer term. And so that kind of one to two years gives you an experience of the areas. It helps you to understand uh, where you want to be. And then after doing that, you can go and you can make a purchase and stick around long term. Now the caveat I would say to that, the exception where maybe you would consider it regardless is I have some clients who are just interested in getting some backup residency permits and the accessibility of the golden visa is really attractive and they say great you know i'm happy to buy a cash flowing rental property for or multiple of them because it can be multiple properties as opposed to one for five hundred and fifty thousand or more and just let the money sit let it earn me a yield and get me a visa and so i think that's also a perfectly reasonable way to go if you want help with any of those things please reach out to us again you can send a message through offshoresitizen.net we're happy to give you the information and help you through the process I will look forward to seeing you on the next video and let me know if you have any questions. You can put them in the comments below and share it with your friends. Talk soon.